Okay, so finally, iOS 16.4 developer beta one is here. We've been waiting for quite some time on this one. Apple took a big break to release this beta, but there's quite a bit of changes, of course, that I wanted to share with you guys in today's video in regards to iOS 16.4 developer beta one. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now as per usual apple has also updated all the other platforms so aside from ios 16.4 developer beta 1 apple has updated the ipad with 16.4 beta 1 also mac os 13.3 beta 1 is available for the mac as of today watch os 9.4 beta 1 is available for the apple watch tv os 16.4 developer beta 1 is available for the apple tv and the homepod also got the beta so homepod os 16.4 beta 1 is available for the homepod as well now let's go ahead and talk about some of the latest changes this beta came in at approximately five and a half gigs now keep in mind guys this is overriding the entire operating system so you're not going to be losing five gigs from your iphone but rather this is just overriding the entire os if we go into general about we see that the latest build number is available right there 16.4 beta 1 build number is 20e5212 F. Now, the latest build number includes quite a bit of changes and improvements. So let me go ahead and start with the beta program. Now, typically, when you go to install betas on your iPhone, you have to register your device on Apple's beta website, and then you have to download what's called a profile, which is under general. And then right here under device management, it looks something like this. So no longer will you be needing a profile after iOS 16.4. In the future, you'll be able to now set up your account on Apple's website, register your device, and then you go into software updates and you'll see the beta option populate on your device once your device is registered with apple if you click here you have the option to unregister your device do developer betas or public betas which is a welcome addition so no longer profiles will be required in order to run beta software onto your devices so looking forward to ios 17 here in the near future again a brand new option for beta updates is available on the iphone and ipad now this is very similar to what we find within the home application where you can go ahead and just simply register your home pod so if we go to home pod settings here we have the home pod options right here and then we also have the betas for the home pods see this option right here so basically the same thing has now been brought over to the iphone and the ipad a welcome addition now there's also some changes for apple card users so if you go into apple card here we have a new button right here which is latest card transactions so now you can sort these right here from all to payments to refunds and adjustments and process right here some purchases as well so you have the option now to sort just a new button there available for apple card users in order to get access to their data a lot easier so i like that option there as well now one thing that's new within apple music i've noticed that now you have options up top here to adjust your account or take a look at your account no matter what tab on apple music you're in so if you're right here and listen now browse you can see that on the top right we still have the avatar there to get access to our apple music account just like so so now here's a device running a previous version just to show you here if we go into apple music it is on the top right on listen now but if we click the other tabs it just sort of disappears right there as you can see so it's no longer visible now we have the option to just simply adjust our account take a look at the account no matter what tab in apple music you're in so a nice welcome addition now before we continue with some of the latest new features in ios 16.4 i wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors case cool now i'm sure you've seen these cases laying around the studio the case cool magic stand case i love the colors available right now we we have the black and matte black option as you can see right here i've been using this one for quite some time but they also feature a black and clear which looks very very sleek as you can see right there and they also offer additional options like purple so if you have a purple iphone this one will match as you can see right there we also have a nice blue and i love this gold color option i mean the color gold on this case just looks amazing you guys should definitely check them out links of course will be in the description now the magic stand case of course it is a magnetic stand case as you can see right here so when you go to use magsafe it's actually stronger on your magnets because the additional magnets on the actual case as well so the experience on magsafe is not interrupted and of course the case will do its job protecting your camera module as well as your screen because it does overlap those in order to protect from any impacts or scratches so check out case cool of course the case cool magic stand case all the links will be in the description with any special deals another great new change apple made with ios 
iOS 16.4 is web push notifications for applications in iOS and iPadOS. Now, if you don't know what this is, just let me give you a quick example. Let's say you have the Facebook account logged in in your Safari browser. Well, you'll be able to get Facebook notifications on your iPhone just like you would if you had the app installed on your iPhone without needing the application to be installed. And that's just a quick example. It works with basically any website that will send notifications. You'll now have the web push notifications pushed to your iPhone just like you would with any application on your iPhone. You now have those web notification options within Safari on the iPhone and iPad. Something that I was looking forward to with iOS 16.4. And now another major change here is the support for Unicode 15. Apple has added brand new emojis. And I know how you guys really love the new emojis. We have the shake face, the new pink hard, blue hard, gray. We also have the moose. I mean, a lot of great new emojis which are coming with iOS 16.4 as you can see right here. Now, of course, this is my initial uh, first reactions to iOS 16.4 and some of the latest new features we found so far. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because I'll be digging around the software and sharing with you guys an additional follow-up video sharing additional things that I may come across after using the software for the next couple of days. So make sure to stay tuned. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.